What's up guys, it's JJ with Blockchain Candy. Hey, today I wanted to make a video on how to stake your Polygon Matic. It seems like y'all have liked a lot of the videos that I've done with the ADA and the HBAR staking. So let's do another video, make it super quick, super easy to stake your Matic, get a little uh, extra passive income while we're waiting for these crypto prices to go back up. So uh, let's check it out. All right, guys, let's check it out. Let's see how to stake Matic. This is super easy. Any beginners can do it. I'll be going over a couple of terms that y'all probably haven't heard before just to explain how kind of the Polygon Matic staking works, but just stick with me. So right here, I'm going to put these links in the uh, comment section, the Polygon deck te technology to be able to get to these uh, websites. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this website, go to the dApps, Go to uh, POS staking right here. Now keep in mind that if you're going to be staking your Polygon, doing it this way, there's other ways to do it. But doing it this way, you're going to need a MetaMask wallet. So make sure you go ahead and go into your browser, your Chrome browser, and go ahead and get a MetaMask uh, you know, wallet. So from here, there's two ways to do it. You can set up a node or become a delegator. We're not becoming a, a validator and setting up nodes. So what we're going to do is become a delegator, okay? And I'm going to try to make this video as fast as possible because I know you all like it quick and simple. So right here, we're going to connect to a wallet. All right, MetaMask is going to be the wallet, like I said. Now, there's other wallets you can use, but I think MetaMask is a good one. So we'll wait for confirmation. We're going to unlock with the password right here. All right, so once you get your password put in your MetaMask wallet, you can go ahead and look up at the top right. You'll see that you'll have your account that's connected to the Polygon Matic staking area. So what you're going to do is when you look on the left side of the page, you'll see validators, okay? Now, all these validators run nodes, which means pretty much they're running the thing, so they're going to get a commission. So if you look to the right, and I know I'm blocking some of this, you can see 10%, 5%, 2% or whatever. So what you're going to do is you want to pick one that doesn't have really a high commission because you want to be able to get your staking rewards and not give a lot of your, uh, your stuff away, your cash away, your crypto. So pick one, um, DeFi Matic, 2%. We'll click delegate. Now keep in mind, when you're doing this, you're on the Ethereum network, so you're gonna pay gas fees, right? There's always gonna be gas fees on the network. So right here, you'll click and make sure you have some kind of money or crypto in your, um, your MetaMask account. Now you're gonna pay with Ethereum. You're gonna pay the gas fees with Ethereum, so you need to have some Ethereum in your MetaMask account too. So right here, I'll do max. Polygon, so it's about 73, about $28. I'll click continue. Now keep in mind, during the uh, week, you'll see that the gas fees are a little higher. During the weekend, gas fees are a little lower on the Ethereum network, okay? So right here, gas is estimated at $1.66. I don't know if you can see that. I'll hit confirm. Transaction in progress. Um, I, there's a couple questions y'all probably gonna know. Transaction fee is gonna be 657. So we'll click delegate, and we'll sign it. Total is eight dollars and seventy four cents gas fees, which really ain't too bad considering sometimes they're up to forty, fifty, sixty dollars, which is crazy. So we'll go ahead and uh, stake that. Now y'all might have some questions as far as um, opting out. How long is your Matic staked? So keep in mind that delegators, not validators, but delegators, the people who are staking, have an option to opt out of the system whenever they want. So similar to validators, delegators have to wait for the unbonding period, okay? Now all this can be found on the, on the Polygon website, okay? So there's something called checkpoints, okay? And I'll explain what a checkpoint is in a second. So your stuff will be locked up for about three to 10 days on average, depending on the protocol rules and the congestion on the Ethereum network, okay? If it's real congested, it could take longer. So you ask, what is a checkpoint? The thing has to go through checkpoints. So all the transactions on the Polygon chain are checkpointed to the Ethereum chain. They're compared, okay? And what they're looking for is security errors or any, any problems that they're having. So it's a mechanism to settle any transaction disputes that occur on the side chain through a cryptographic proof. So pretty much they're just comparing with the Ethereum chain, they're, they're validating the network, and then you're able to go through the checkpoints, and that's how you get your money back after they go through the checkpoints and you wait three to 10 days. So your money's not locked up, your crypto's not locked up forever, okay? Now, how many um, Matic do you need <clears throat> to um, be able to take your stuff out? 
you ask, do I? I might have five Matic. I might mm. have ten. You got to have a minimum. You need to have a minimum of two Matic before you can pull out your rewards. Okay, so go ahead and uh, do all that. So right here, you can see the delegation is complete. Matic tokens are staked successfully. If you want to see where your Matic is staked, you go to my account, and you can see uh, 72.32 Matic are staked. Now at this right now, if you look right here, you can stake more. I think we're at about 12% APY. Now keep in mind, like I tell you in my other videos, your APY is your annual percentage yield for the year, okay? So you keep that in for a year, you'll get that 12% rate, okay? If you take it out earlier, there's a chance you're not going to get that. Now this, the APY is always subject to change, so just keep that in mind. It's not always static, okay? But remember, APY is going to be over a year's uh, period. And you can always add more, and the more Matic that you have, the more, you, the more um, percentage and more uh, money you're going to make, the more passive income. So that's pretty much it. If you all have any questions, go ahead and go in my comments and ask away. Make sure you all like and subscribe to the videos. It's fun making them. If, if you all have any questions or if there's anything that you all want to see as far as staking on other cryptos or some other videos you all would like to see, go ahead and uh, put that in the comment. But I hope this kind of helps out. It's super easy. Um, Try to keep the video short. Just don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.